verses 13 and 14 says, I would have fainted unless I had believed this to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Verse 14 says, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Now, we've been waiting on you for a whole year. But I want to preach this morning to simply wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. <clears throat> My younger son's birthday was on the last Sunday in July. And I took him out for a restaurant and bought him dinner. He ordered crab legs. Now, 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 I like crab legs, but I never order crab legs. Uh. Why? Because I'm too lazy to crack them. <laughs> and if somebody crack them for me, I'll eat them all day long. So, so, so I ordered a prime rib steak. <clears throat> Well, my son's food came before mine did. And I asked the waitress what was taking my order so long. She said, well, sir, what you ordered is considered to be a special order. And special orders take a little more time. Come on now. And I've been thinking about what that waitress told me as I read this text because church, there have been some things that I've asked the Lord for that have not happened yet. Do I have a witness? Amen. There's some things I've been talking to God about for a mighty long time and they have not yet come to pass. Anybody else ever ask God for something and as of yet you are not in possession of the benefit of the blessing? Oh yeah, I've seen others get their orders on time, but mine was delayed. Well, can I tell you that delayed does not mean denied. Help me somebody. Oh yeah, I've seen others prayers answered. I've seen others get breakthroughs. I, I've seen others walk in victory. Oh yeah, I've asked God to do something for me, but God ain't done it yet. Maybe, 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 just maybe, it's a special order. The waitress told me that special orders take a little more time. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, I've seen others get the house. I've seen others get the car. I've seen others get the job. I, I've seen others get the promotion. I've seen others get the healing. I, I've seen others get the breakthrough. Can anybody here testify? My prayer might just be a special order. Special order, special order, yeah, yeah, yeah. That means you can't get it off the dollar menu. Special order, that means you can't get it off the showroom floor. Special order, that means you can't get it off the rack. You can't get it off the shelf. You got to wait for your special order before I feel all right this morning. Yeah, 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 maybe this morning what you, maybe this morning what you've asked the Lord for, maybe this morning what you prayed for is a special order, maybe what you cried about all last night is a special order, maybe what you want to flirt over is a special order, maybe what you wanted and what you requested and what you pleaded and begged for is a special order, can I tell you, special orders, the richest said. A special order. Amen. And so stop giving God a due date. Stop giving God a deadline. Amen. And recognize that God is getting it ready for you and getting you ready for you. God does not operate by your timetable. God is not managed by your Timex or your Rolex, but he's still an on-time God. On-time God. Special orders. Can I tell you, that spouse that you're praying for, God's going to do it. That, that car that you want, God's going to do it. That job, that promotion, that house, that windfall, that, that breakthrough, that business, that healing, that victory, that special, 
that special friend, special Lord has just taken a little yeah. one time. You do it. Even farmers like us in the country, we've got to learn how to wait because even though we plant and, and nurture and water and fertilize, and yeah, we still realize and that we, 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 we don't determine what happened under the ground. <laughs> Can I tell somebody that God is working behind the scenes on your behalf? Can I tell somebody that God is up to something? Yeah, maybe your prayer request ain't turned into a praise report yet, but God is working it out for you. So you just got to learn to wait on God. Yeah, yeah, impatience is one of the most miserable matters that a Christian can have. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know how we are. We want it now. We want it yesterday. We want it right now. Amen, somebody. We want it quick, fast, and in a hurry. And here I come breaking your halo by telling you you got the rain, baby. Yeah, you got the rain in the heart. Well, what you need, it ain't a regular blessing, but that's why you got to wait. What you need. Need. Ain't no running the mill breakthrough. That's why you gotta wait. What you need ain't no ordinary healing. That's why you got to wait. Because special orders, yeah, yeah, take a little more time. Yeah, and I know you're saying, Pastor, I waited and waited, and I waited and waited. It seemed like things ain't getting no better. Yeah, but just remember that waiting does not mean that you're doing nothing. Waiting is not tongue, thumb twiddling time. Waiting is not sitting on your sit down. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Yeah, 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 but can I tell you, wait on the job, but fill out the application. Wait on your healing, but baby, take your medicine in. I heard, I heard that faith without works is dead faith. You see, all God wants from us is an unwavering faith in the midst of trials, tests, tribulations, tears, tragedies, and turmoil. And if you learn, yeah, to wait on the Lord, I tell you, God will come through for you. Yeah, the old church said, He may not come when you I know it's hard to wait. It's hard to wait. <laughs> Waiting ain't easy. <laughs> you know you got somewhere to go, and you at the traffic light waiting for it to turn green. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Waiting ain't easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to be at the mall at 10 o'clock, but that's when the 75% sales go wrong, <laughs> and you backed up in traffic. Hello, somebody. <laughs> waiting ain't easy. <laughs> yeah, you waiting for the promotion of a raise. <laughs> you waiting for the doctor to come in and see you. <laughs> you waiting for the food to get ready. You know, with a microwave, you wait for your popcorn to get ready so you can watch some Netflix. Hello, somebody. Yeah, you waiting for the line in the grocery store to show up. You waiting for your favorite TV show. It ain't easy. You waiting for class to be over. It ain't easy. You waiting for your child to come home at 3.30 in the morning. It ain't easy. You waiting for the picture to quit preaching. Yes, Lord. Can I tell you, he ain't like Oprah, but God is a weight watcher. <laughs> he ain't like Oprah, but God is a weight watcher. Let me stop and rewind that and play that again. He ain't like Oprah, but God, yeah, is a weight watcher. God is watching us to see if we were waiting long enough with the confidence of faith to see that we make a way, we come through to watch him work it out. That's why the songwriter said, you can't hurry God. Yeah, he'll be there. Don't you worry. Tell your neighbor I'm going to wait on the Lord. You next in line for your miracle. I'm going to Change, I'm gonna wait to have a 
God shall renew their strength. They shall not only wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I declare, church, if you wait on God, yeah, don't try to think, take things in your own hand. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm going to wait on it. I learned to wait on it. I learned to wait on God. That's why I can't quit now. I'm going to wait on the Lord. I cried too much to quit now. That's why I'm going to wait on the Lord. I done prayed too hard for my breakthrough. That's why I'm going to wait on the Lord. Yeah, Lord, I'm going to wait on you. Yeah, be a good courage because what I want is a special order. I got a made up mind. Yeah, I'm going to wait. Oh, God. Yeah.